they're just role playing as Jeff said startup founders as they think that this will impress people and take them somewhere in life. In his book, The Great Crash 1929, John Kenneth Galbraith introduced the term bezel. He derived the word from embezzlement, which he calls the most interesting of crimes. He explained that weeks, months, or years might elapse between a crime being committed and its discovery. During this period, both the criminal and the victim feel wealthy, as the embezzler has his gain and the man who's been embezzled so far feels no loss. Galbraith calls the embezzled wealth the bezel, which at any moment in time in an economy can amount to a huge, if unknowable, sum of money. There are some good recent examples of this, like when earlier this year JP Morgan discovered that 54 metric tons of nickel that it thought it owned in a warehouse in Rotterdam turned out to be bags of stone. Similarly, when people have their money invested in a Ponzi scheme, they feel wealthy when the statement showing huge returns arrive in the post. They go out and spend all like their wealth, not realizing that it's all an illusion. The scammer, on the other hand, knows that he has stolen their money and spends it freely too, maybe even buying a Lamborghini and taking some real $100 bills out of the bank rather than the fake ones that Grant Cardone owns when Christ's teenager is on the internet. Yay! The economist John Kay wrote of how the champagne that Enron's Jeff Skilling drank when the SEC allowed him to mismark energy contracts was paid for